Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video I am back with another mystery unboxing which obviously you guys know is my favourite thing to do like ever and this time I am back with a company that I have not yet reviewed on my channel before. So you guys know that I absolutely love when it is a brand new company because I get to rate them off of my three factors. So I rate them off of customer service, the packaging and then the overall value of the mystery box. So I'm super excited to be reviewing from a very fresh start today. And I am reviewing, I'm trying to show you the box without showing you my address, even though you probably all know it by now, is Jolly Pops UK. So this is their, I love their branding as well because it's really easy to know straight off the bat who I'm dealing with. Now, Jolly Pops are an Instagram company. That's the best place that I know them for. I'm not too sure if they have a Facebook page because I buy everything off of their Instagram. So this was the first ever mystery box that I got with them. And the reason why was I saw it had shared on a few of the pages on Instagram of people who I follow. And I thought, do you know what? This looks all right, actually. And it was a 15 pound hit on miss boxes. Now you guys all know my relationship with hit on miss boxes are not the best. They never have been and they never will be. You know, I never normally really go for hit and miss anymore purely because you've got to expect a big loss. You know, to get those hits in there, you have to have a big loss, which is normally why I only really go for guaranteed mystery boxes or things where I know I'm gonna be able to get some sort of money back. Fingers crossed though, that this one's gonna be good. So when I saw it and I thought it's only 15 pounds, you know, give or take with delivery, etc. hopefully not gonna be that bad. Like the worst, surely the worst I could pull would be a 10 pound pop, right? And that would be the miss, we hope. But the reason why I went for this was because the top hits were incredible. Now with this being my first time with them, I was really excited to see that the top hits were what they were because with a company that I'd not really heard of before and then to see these big top hits, I thought, wow, they're really going for this. Like, this company looks amazing. So they had Medusa, they had the Thor Glow in the Dark. Um, I don't know if it was the Adrix, not the Adrix exclusive. It's the one that's with about 110, well, anywhere from 110 to 150, depending on where you value where your pops from. And they also had the Joker Chase. So they had some really good hits in there. So I thought, let's just give this a try. Um, so regarding the customer service, the first thing I'll rate it on was absolutely fantastic. Their customer service was out of this world and I thought was absolutely incredible. I've never known a company reply so quickly to messages and are constantly on Instagram ready to answer those questions. And to me, that's as you're all aware, one of the biggest things is how customer service is. I am huge on great customer service and thankfully these guys provided it straight off the bat. So I was really happy. So massive thumbs up to Jolly Pops for how great they were with their customer service. You guys are off to a great start. I will rate the packaging obviously as we get into this. And um, now the one thing I can say about Jolly Pops as well regarding their customer service is I know that they have helped quite a few people find some grail pops. And even if it's not just grail pops, they have found pops that you need for your collection. So I'm actually talking to them now about a few pops that I need for my collection and they've been absolutely great. So honestly, they're not just a mystery box company or a company that are there just for your money. They are fantastic. They are very, very much a community-based company and that's really important to me as well because they're not just here to sell you a mystery box, but they're also here to try and help you complete your collection and for me, that's huge. So, you know, it's so far, straight off the bat, first impressions of Jolly Pops UK is that they're absolutely fantastic and I have not a bad word to say about them. So, really good positive start for this video. Right, let's get into this. I did already pre-open this because with Penny being a little bit broke, she's having a, a little bit of trouble trying to get into boxes and because of the tape, it's that very, um, I'm trying to, I can't think of the word, but a tape that was really hard to get open. So <laughs> I was like, I best do this before I start the video. Otherwise we're gonna be here for a very long time. And we all know we don't want that. Right, let's get into this. Okay, so first of all, let's rate off the bat. We've got a sticker. Obviously I love stickers, you're all aware. I really like when a company brands themselves because then I get to go, I know who you are. I know who this is from. And it's really important to me that when I look at a box, I go, that's who that's from. Especially when you're like me, if you get lots of deliveries coming in, you know, it's a lot to kind of remember where you're at or who sent you things. So I knew straight away off the bat, 
So absolutely love them. Really nice sticker quality as well. Really happy with that. And I love the colors. Pink's my favorite. Very girly, so. Right, let's rate packaging. I'm blown away so far. You know, we've got a good amount of packaging. I think this is actually wrapped around the pop. So let's just get that out. Yeah, it's definitely wrapped around the pop, which is a nice take. I'm liking that they've done this because for me, that's probably one of the best things is wrapping brown paper. A lot of people out there say that brown paper doesn't really do anything and I think it does. I think it's nice to have that as the extra padded because it does make it more padded. You cannot deny that. So it's nice that they've wrapped it around bubble wrap as well. So, you know, big thumbs up packaging. So I can rate that an easy 10 out of 10. So, so far on my two factor rating, we've got two tens. So, you know, amazing. Right. If we don't get the top hit, when it's a hit and miss, I never expect anything else than to get a big miss because it's me when it comes to these. Um, so what I'm hoping for, if we don't get the top hit, which obviously, you know, we always want, so fingers crossed we do, but what else I would love to have would be a horror pop would be amazing. Um, maybe something that's a little bit different to any 80s pops, so, you know, Horror and 80s are my two main collections. I'd love a Walking Dead pop, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen. So yeah, definitely looking at horror, 80s, or just something that's eye-catching, something a little bit different, you know, I'm not used. Um, it's been actually a long time, I think, since I've done a hit on this, Mystery Box, pretty much. So yeah, it's exciting. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Okay, brown paper's gone. We've got bubble. Bubble wrap, let me get the bubble wrap out. So packaging wise, absolutely amazing guys. I'm really, really blown away. So first sheet bubble wrap is out the way. So we're really going to town on bubble wrap guys. That's huge for me. So hard. Oh, it's in a, oh, it's in a protector. <gasps> Excuse me. That was a huge sneeze. Am I okay? Right. It's in a protector guys, which might mean, is it? Yes, in a protector, which might mean we might have a good pop. It might not be a biggest hit because it's not in a hard stack. So it might be a nice little pop. It might be maybe like a mid range. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're onto a little bit of a, a hit here. Let's see. Right guys, let's go for it. Three, two, one. Boom, what have we got? Oh, okay. Do you know, I have never actually ever had, did I say that right? A clockwork orange pop before. Never, because I'm not gonna lie. Never seen it. It's one movie that I've been told is a little bit messed up. So I like horror movies, but this I've not watched. But this is awesome. So this is Alex Delarge, the masked version. It's the Hot Topic exclusive. So I know that this goes around about 30 pound because I have seen this before. So guys, it's definitely a hit, 110%. This isn't a miss. I've drawn even and then some. So I'm really happy with this, guys. Absolutely amazing. This is very cool. I know the unmasked version, I think, goes for a little bit more. I think that's around about 50 to 60, whereas this one's more around 30 mark. But nonetheless, it's awesome. And I'm loving, guys, that it's in a protector. You know, 15 pound plus the postage, but in a protector, amazing. I'm really happy with this. As far as condition wise goes, guys, the box looks great. We do have a little bit of a paint mark. So if you can, I can't really show you, but it's just where the nose on the inside, because it's got a very long nose, is just rubbed off against the plastic. And a lot of my pops do that. That is not a fault of Jolly Pops UK at all. That is just a fault of Funko's manufacturing. So, however, this pop is pretty cool. I don't really know what to make of it yet. Um, with it being a horror pop, I'm thinking, shall I keep this? Because this is great. But with me not being the biggest Clockwork Orange fan, I only really have horror pops that I know of. So ones that I, you know, I've seen the films, I love the films, and with this being one that I haven't actually seen yet, I'm a bit like, do I keep this? Because it's a pretty cool pop. I'm thinking this would look pretty awesome out of box, especially because of his long nose. So maybe this might be a win for me, guys. I might keep this. But yeah, I'm absolutely blown away. And the fact that it comes in a protector, what what more can I say about it, guys? So, 
Quick three factor rating, customer service, huge 10 out of 10, brilliant. Packaging, huge 10 out of 10, absolutely amazing. And the value, I'm way of value, so I have nothing bad to say about this at all. And thankfully, it's a pop that is gonna fit in perfectly with me. So massive thumbs up to Dolly Pops UK. I'm super happy with this mystery box and we'll definitely be buying from them again. So what I will do guys is I'm gonna link Jolly Pops Instagram account down below in that bio. So make sure to go and check that out guys and give them some love and support their, um, I was gonna say support the channel then. Support their page guys and obviously keep live. They do have another mystery box going live very soon I believe. So make sure to keep a check on that and see when that goes live. Cause I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an absolutely another amazing hit on this mystery box from them. What I will also do guys is link my own Instagram down below and my own email. So if you guys wanna send me anything or you want me to review anything or just have any questions for me, then please get in touch with me via those are two social media platforms guys because that is the best place for me to reply on. But as always, a lovely like, a lovely comment and a lovely subscribe would be absolutely amazing. Most importantly everybody, stay safe and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.